Hey buddy, some nice guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back from War Dawn Craft. Now the de developers have done something really, really cool for us. Now I know I noticed a number of you guys have had issues with losing your maps or you spoke to the guild master when your inventory was full. So he tried to give you the map, but then you didn't get it because your inventory was full and you've then been stuck in your progression because you didn't know where to find the next boss. Now, instead of randomly wandering around the world, hoping to run into the boss, they've added a very cool way for you to retrieve new copies of old maps that you should already have access to via the FTB quest book. So if you press E and in your JEI left side, um, in this top left corner here, you should have quests. If you don't have that, you can press plus add and there should be a way to add, there you go, the quests icon there. And you click on this and this will open. Firstly, this has got a wealth of information on how to start the game. You can find information about Dawncraft in this book. So you click that and it teaches you, press uh, complete the task there. And then it teaches you about villagers and quests. It teaches you about using the Atlas. It teaches you about a whole bunch of different stuff. But what's relevant here is if you go in the side arrow here, it says lost and found quest map replacements. So there's a lot of different tabs. You can learn about magic through this, you know, click that and you can start learning about magic. Um, but in terms of this case, you, what we're looking at is lost and found quest map replacements. So you go into this tab, you click on this, you click OK, just to confirm that this is this category. And then you've got maps for a bunch of different categories. Um, guard quest category, the guild master quest, the starter quest, which is the pillager camp. And this is how you regain lost maps. So I'll progress a little bit here through the game so that I can then show you how to collect to collect those. But basically, replacements for the beginner quest to hunt 10 pillagers is the example we're going to use. So I'm going to speak to this uh, to the guild master. Sure. Yep. I'm going to speak to him and I'm going to get the uh, map for the 10 pillagers. So you then see, speak to him again and click find pillagers. All right, I thought you were an adventurer. Fine, fetch me a piece of paper and I'll show you the whereabouts of the closest villager camp we know of. So I got my paper and I speak to him and I go find any pillagers and I'll give him the piece of paper and then speak to him again. Once you've given him the piece of paper, you speak to him again and then he should give you a map to the next pillager camp. Lovely. So now if I go into this, it says starter quest has been completed. I've acquired the map and I can go in here and replace the lost map. So if I then just press, press this icon, it will give me copies of that map. So as long as you've fulfilled the requirement, and then you just go in here and click this tick, it says replace lost map. I now have a bunch of different maps to the pillager camp. Now, funnily enough, in this world, the pillager camp... Oh, well, actually, this is a different pillager camp. So if I then wanted to go find this pillager camp, I can use my compass or my atlas that they use at the beginning, similar to my video about how to find your first village. So right now I'm in the bottom left corner of this map. So I need to go northeast up and to the right, northeast. So I can use my compass to make sure I'm pointing northeast. Or I can use my antique atlas because the antique atlas is oriented the same way. So up and to the right or northeast is the direction I need to go. So I just go northeast until my icon starts to move. Once my icon at the bottom moved to the point where it was in line with the X. So say, for example, I was on the bottom of this map and in line with the X. I know I just need to go north, in which case I would make sure I'm just pointing north with my compass or with my atlas. And I just go directly straight north. Now, funnily enough, this actually spawned here. You don't need to go to that pillager camp. Pillagers can be found in other locations as well. And uh, this this structure, this pillager structure spawned on top of my village, weirdly enough. So there might actually be some pillagers in here. I don't know if, I don't think there's 10 pillagers in here. In fact, they seem like mostly vindicators. But if you manage to find pillagers outside of the place that you find in the map, you don't need to go to that pillager camp. You can just go, um, you can't just kill 10 pillagers wherever you find them. All right, so I've now killed my 10 pillagers wherever I found them. I managed to kill my 10 pillagers and I'm just going to show you another example. Uh, turn off combat mode to speak to the guy. He says, oh, wow, you did it. Good job. Well done. And now he's given me a map to the ruined keep, which is the Goblin King's hideout. Now, funnily enough, this village that I spawned next to at the very start of this game also had a Goblin Keep right next to it. So as you can see on the map, it's literally right there. But again, you can just follow the same principles, figure out where you are on the map, use your compass or your atlas to orientate yourself in the right way, travel in that direction to find the Goblin King. Now, again, if you were to lose this map, so we can go back to our FTB quests, go back to the lost and found map section. This is the pillager quest. We've done that. Now we're in the Guildmaster quests. So you click on this, you click this to confirm that you can open up this category and then replacing the lost map. This is the location of the ruin. Keep the Goblin King's hideout and you just click lost, re replace lost map. And again, 
Every time I press that, it'll give me a new map to the same keep. And it is that easy, guys. It is that easy. Now, as a side note, if you do kill a boss, so say, for example, you killed a Sentinel Knight before you had the quest to kill a Sentinel Knight and you got the eye from the Sentinel Knight before you had that quest, and then you get the quest from the Guildmaster, he gives you a map, and that map happens to give you the location of the one that you've already killed. Therefore, that map is kind of useless because you've already killed that one and now you don't know where another one is. You actually, all you need to do is drop the eye that you got from it and then pick that eye back up and it will count as completing the quest. So you can then just drop the eye, pick it up, and then speak to the Guildmaster and it will count as completing the quest and you can move on in your progression. And that is how that works. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. It's always great to see in the comments. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.